Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're regular here, you know I review many photographic, audio and video related products. But today I'm going to take a fairly quick look, well hopefully a fairly quick look, at a new camera bag that I purchased. I am rather fond of me camera bags, normally by Billingham because I love my Billingham bags. But I fancy the change. So I purchased this bag, which is um, a really nice little bag. I didn't want a big one because uh, I'm too old and fragile for carrying around big bags when I go out taking photographs now. So I bought this bag, which is the uh, Peak Design Everyday Sling 3L, which is, yeah, yeah that's what it is called, uh, the Everyday 3L uh, Sling Bag. Um, it's really nifty little bag. Uh, I did find initially when I got it, it took me a bit of getting used to how tight that um, aperture is for getting your cameras in and out the bag. But on reflection, it actually is a quite a clever design. And I think Peak Design are very clever of a way they design a lot of their products. Now, when that's over your shoulder, uh, which obviously is how I use it, it's a sling bag to go over your shoulder. You don't want people, you know, if you're in a crowded area, you don't want people uh, dipping into your bag, nicking stuff out of it. And because that's really tight, you would absolutely know if somebody had dug their hand in to try and get a camera out because it wouldn't come out that easy. Uh, so that actually is a positive rather than a negative. Initially, I thought that was a negative. Um, but uh, I've got two cameras in there and it'll easily fit two camera bodies in here. One of them is my Olympus Pen F. That fits in there quite nicely, no problem at all. As I say, it's a little bit tight at first getting it out. That's the Olympus Pen F. That fits in there nicely. And the other one is my Olympus OMD EM10 Mark IV. And I've also fitted my EM OMD EM10 Mark III in there and that fits in there nicely. So um, you got in there, it's, it's quite roomy. Um, it isn't designed to take a lot of kit. Um, it's really designed to take one camera with a big lens on and maybe some accessories, you know, a small flash gun maybe uh, and a few other odds and ends. But you can fit, I've fitted two cameras in there, which is, you know, great. It has got a little pouch on the side here, on the inside of a bag. It's got a little pouch. Um, I don't know how easy that is to see. There we go. You can see that little pouch here just on the inside. So you can fit in there spare batteries, could be SD cards, um, you know, whatever you want to put in there. Uh, so you know, that part is great. It's got a pouch on that side as well. So both sides, it's got that same, you know, the same designs. So you've got a pouch that side. Um, just see that, yeah, you can just see that there, pouch that side and a pouch on the other side, which is great. And uh, these dividers, um, it comes with these dividers and these Peak Design dividers are, are clever actually, because it's got a little flap which folds down so that now hides either something underneath and you can put something on top. So, you know, that is, that is great as well. Um, I use it folded upwards like that so I can easily get my OMD EM10 Mark IV in. So either fold it down, um, hide something underneath, and you've got uh, something you can put on top. And it has a little pocket on the front for putting, again, your spare batteries, um, SD cards, whatever, in the front there. I've got a couple of batteries in there, um, and I've got my SD card pouch in there. So, you know, very nicely made as all peak design stuff is the zips seem to be really good quality um i won't know for sure until i've had it for a while because uh, the billingham bags don't have zips um they are brass fasteners but this is fasteners brass fasteners <laughs> not fasteners let's get that right um so you know it will take a, a little while to get used to a zips bag as opposed to one with fasteners um very clever adjustable strap i like the way the strap adjusts that's very clever how you adjust this strap um all you do is uh well not that side where are we I don't know where it is now here it is you just this little lever here you just pull that pull that up and then you can adjust the strap very easily you can't see that now can we my hands in the way just adjust the strap easily then lock it back down and that's adjusted then so um very nifty little design that so you just as i say pull that pull that up and then pull that and that's it and then put the clip back down 
and that's done. So very clever design for adjusting the strap and quick and easy when you're out and about. I really like it, you know. Um, it also does come with, as four, uh, well, two straps it comes with, which go on the underneath of the bag. So it's got these two straps. There's one there and there's one there I've already put on. They fit on the underneath side of the bag. So you can actually put a tripod through there, monopod, whatever. Um, but these little clips come off so easily. So if you don't use a monopod or tripod, you just pull that off and that'll unclip like so. And the same on the other side, that'll just come straight off. So you don't need to, you know, they're not there permanently. You don't need to leave them on, you know, um, that'll just come off. There we go, it's awkward when you're trying to do it and film at the same time. So um, you can see here the little lugs here that those clips go into. So there's one and there's one on the other side and that's the same on that side. So you've got your, you know, that's got it on. Uh, so you can unclip them and clip them on when you need to. So a, a very small bag enables you to take a monopod or tripod, two camera bodies with lenses, um, and you know, uh, uh, some a few accessories. Um, you know, it's really, really good. And also, with the uh, spare end of the straps, they slide in to the uh, side here. Now, I don't need to because I've got it the strap as long as it goes, but you can actually slide them into this hole on the back of a bag to tuck them away. So the ends of a strap are just tucked away inside there. Can you see that? You can't see that. There we go. That's better. You might be able to see that now. That will go into there and then they get hidden away. You can't see that too clearly, but I can assure you, you can, you can hide the ends of the straps inside the bag and they stay there quite happily. They'll just go in there and stay there quite happily. Um, and that is, you know, job done, as it were. Really, really good. Yeah, so, and a nice little handle for carrying it if you need to, you know, um, carry it around. Maybe you're going on public transport and you don't want it over your shoulder. Uh, you just want to carry it like that. So um, that is great because I found with a couple of the Billingham bags, they don't have a handle on the top of a bag. And I find that really frustrating. You have to wrap the shoulder strap around your hand to carry it. So the fact that, um, Billingham, uh, not Billingham, but Peak Design have put a handle on the bag, I think is awesome that, you know, you can just carry it like that. So, yeah, and I went for the ash. This is the ash colour. I quite like the ash colour. I think that's, uh, you know, a nice colour um, and works really well. So, um, yeah, I say very well made. Um, as I, said, I don't know how good the uh, straps, are, the um, zips are going to be at the moment, but they seem... You know, they do seem pretty solid, so they don't look like they're going to, you know, um, snap or break or, you know, split or whatever. They seem pretty good. So, um, yeah, there we go. That is the uh, Peak Design um, Everyday Sling 3L. Um, and it comfortably takes my two camera bodies. Obviously, if you've got larger bodies, DSLR bodies, or you've got a larger mirrorless camera with a bigger lens, it'd probably only take the one camera body with one lens. But um, I've got it configured for taking my uh, little Olympus Pen F. That'll go in that side pocket quite happily like so. That goes in there. You can see that that goes in there. I do find these little internal pouches do get in the way sometimes because they get caught on those little internal pouches. Um, but um, other than that, it's you know it's well designed. And then the bigger OM10 goes on that side. And then I have and I haven't even had to fold the lens the lens hood down. That will go in there. And then I have both uh, camera bodies, you know, in the um, in the bag. Um, and I say the fact that that is a quite a tight opening actually is a blessing if you're out in a crowded area because nobody will stick their hand in and uh, take the camera out if you've got the camera bag open. Uh, but, you know, that works really well. That zips up quite nicely. And um, there you have um, a nice zipped up bag with your kit in it, protected. Um, it's weatherproof, you know, and then you just unzip it, take the kit out. So, yeah, great little bag. Um, 
uh, solid construction. Yeah, really good. I don't keep these little uh, um, things on. I don't keep these um, on the bag because I very rarely take out a monopod or try, certainly not a tripod, very, very rarely do. But having the option to be able to do that, I think is um, a nice design. The Billingham bags, again, don't have that option. In fact, a lot of my bags don't have that option. So the fact that this one does, if I know I am going to take a monopod or tripod out with me, it will be this bag that I will take because I know I can fit a little monopod to the bag. So it's all, you know, all together in one bag, as it were. So there we go. That's a quick look at the Peak Design Everyday Sling 3L bag. I hope you found that useful. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Hit the like button if you like the content of this video and make any suggestions. Leave some suggestions in the comment section if you have any suggestions of what you might like me to review. So there we go. Thanks very much for watching. Stay tuned for more videos relating to video and photography. Cheers for now. Bye.